why don't you want to connect with you know the same age bracket like well, some well, women and, want and to, so this is an know. interesting thing right so dating one of the things that i've struggled with because i would rather date someone over 30 right i'm 39 rather than be over 30 would rather a bit younger than me but rather close because i want to be same maturity level some life experience but i've had this experience of just coming across uh, it's, it, the, the, dyma- the dynamic is often different it's like you get these exceptions right but on the whole it's a really different dynamic like when i talk to guys and they're like, oh, I don't want to date women in the 30s. I actually get it. It's not that there's anything wrong with all women in the 30s, but that it's really, really common to have these really like baggage-based experiences that they bring to. The- I don't mean like, like I don't mean like physical baggage, right? I mean like emotional baggage that they bring to the table. And it's like, ooh, and then it's like I'm suffering as a result because I'm going on these dates and I'm like, they've got like a checklist of things they need to check off on their list. Has he got this? Has he got? Oh, you better not have this characteristic. But it's like it's really not fun. You know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be, and so the, I, I get it. Like I'd rather date someone close, but I'm not having fun on these dates. It's an, this interesting, weird thing. Being single is only shit if you think it's shit. Hear me out. Angel, you're not behind. I'm 29. I've just moved back in with my parents. I've just come out of a two year relationship to someone that I thought I was gonna get married and have kids with. Circumstances meant that I had to move out of the apartment pretty quick and I was in love with my apartment and I was in love with where I was living. I was living like a street back from the beach. This was something that I'd manifested. This is something that I'd wanted for so long. And now I'm in suburbia, nowhere near a beach, nowhere near my friends. I'm driving like an hour and a half every day, every couple of days to go and see them and just like try and keep some normality in my life. Everything has just suddenly changed. My ex and I were supposed to travel Europe this year. We had plans to travel. We had plans, our, our word for the year, you know, <laughs> New Year's. We, we broke up shortly after New Year's. Our word for the year was fun. <laughs> I was meant to be having fun this year, guys. And let me tell you, I will still be having fun, just not with him past three months have been a roller coaster. I've been up, I've been down, I've been sky high, I've been in the dirt. I have no idea what's next. I honestly thought I would be married with kids right now and it hasn't happened that way, it hasn't worked out that way. But I do believe in divine timing and I do believe that everything happens for a reason and I do believe there isn't a right or wrong way to do this life. I've been blessed in other ways in my life and I know that everyone's blessings come in in different orders. I mean, some people meet their person in high school and they're with them for the rest of their life and that's amazing. But some people, they don't meet their person until they're like 70. And I do believe that every person that comes into our life serves a purpose. It's not for nothing. We're meant to learn, we're meant to grow, we're meant to have those good times, even if it's far (laughs) and few between. It's all leading us to where we're supposed to be. I know it's harder said than done, but please don't compare yourself with others, other people's stories and timelines. That That's honestly, it's like so silly the more that I think about me trying to compare my timeline to someone else's because I'm not someone else, I'm me. I think the only reason that we stress out when it comes to like finding our person, finding love, settling down, getting married, having kids is all because of the social timeline that's like thrust upon us. Like we're told from a young age that this is like the ideal age that you should be getting married and having kids. And we're made to believe that when we reach a certain age, we are considered old and no longer wanted. And then we've got the biological clock for women. Obviously we do feel like that we have this pressure and this like time is running out. But the fact is, firstly, (laughs) you don't need to be in a relationship with a man to have a kid. So if you're desperate to do that, you could do it by yourself. Secondly, you could adopt. Thirdly, you don't actually need to have kids. I I know this is going to be a touchy subject, but there are many women out there that are very happy without kids. You don't need to have kids just because you're a woman and you can have kids. I mean, society puts all this pressure on us that we have to have kids or, you know, we're not truly successful in life until we have kids. I personally want kids, but all these pressures and problems that we put on ourselves and we let society put on us, there's actually an answer for it all. It's not as end of the world tragic as we are made to believe. I think this subject, this topic is such a problem nowadays because we as women feel like we are running out of time and we feel pressured to, you know, find someone. And sometimes this can lead to us lowering our standards in men and we end up settling with people that we're not happy with. We end up settling in relationships that are abusive. I'm saying all this because my younger self needed to hear it. I think I've wasted too much time putting so much focus on finding a partner in my life 
where I wish I'd earlier put that focus on finding me. Right now, I'm giving you permission to take the pressure off yourself, to relax a bit, to enjoy life, to focus on yourself. Put the focus on you. You're not behind. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. And if I am talking to someone who's single right now, it is so exciting to be single. I know everyone puts out these videos about like, oh my God, you know, horrible date story. I have to date again. This is like, I just don't want to do this. I, for one, am super excited. The fact that I don't know what's around the corner. I don't know who I'm going to meet in the future. I don't know how many dates I'm going to go on, how many good ones, how many bad ones. It's exciting. I'm excited to have that first kiss again, to have those butterflies again, to introduce them to my family again. Like there's so many firsts to be had, like travel with them, get married, all these, you know what I mean? Breaking up with someone, being single is only a negative thing if you see it that way. What about the freedom? What about the fun, the excitement of not knowing what's next? Anyway, I just want to let you know if you do feel like you're behind, you're not. I love you. I'm also single, have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, have no idea what's next, but I'm excited and I'm happy to be here. Amazing and I love you. For the wall. For the wall! <laughs> yeah, she can definitely speak until tomorrow. So it's a lot to take in, I'm gonna try and keep it brief. Now, the thing is, a 30 year old moving back with your parents, you're a failure. I say this because modern females, if this was a man saying this, they wouldn't want to be with him. He would be a bum. He would be a dusty. He would be broke. What have you been doing in your life? Why are you living in a room? Why are you living with your parents? So I'm going to give you the same energy that you would give a man in the exact same position that you are in. Your failure. You failed. Your bum. Going back to moving with your parents at 30 at your big age. What happened to your independency? What happened to that finances that feminism gave you? Your pay rate should be higher than any race. So what the hell are you doing that you literally hit rock bottom? So the fact that she's trying to make this seem as if it's smooth and it's a journey and this is all new. Listen, your new experiences they came and left in your prime years. This is old news. This is just you. You're a total mess. And you can't even seem to maintain a stable relationship. Even after New Year's, the day where everyone celebrates. Who really wants to be with that? In that type of experience? Honestly, it's a lot. And she's feeling the pressure of not having a family and having children. And you know what gets me is they will say is society, it makes us seem as if we're in this timeline and you know, they make us rush into having children. No, society doesn't do that. Biology does. Okay, your eggs do that. Your body does that. Your body will decline having children after you've hit 35. And it's declining now as we speak. So don't pin that on society. That's just you dealing with what your body is going through and the fact that you know you may not have children if you don't find a, bo a boyfriend or a husband anytime soon. And she speaks about how she can't wait to bring a new man to your family Oh, come on, please. You think any family is going to be happy to see you come in with a new man again? They're probably going to think, wow, look at this 304. She can't even seem to stick with one man. We just left New Year's and we're here all over again. Are you 20? But this is her to cover up all her failures, like that heavy makeup she has on her face. Don't even match her chest. So, just like that, everything she don't even match her reality. This is nothing new. This is failure. You failed. Real bad. And you're trying to cope. You can't even deal with it alone. That's why you have to make one hour journey to see your friends. Why don't you actually just focus on fixing the broken pieces of your life and still, instead of trying to still go out and have fun? What's wrong with you? You're still trying to have fun. 
get your life together you don't even have a home i mean i don't get it i really don't get it you know this is why she's hit the wall because somewhere in her mind she thinks everything's okay she's in good timing and she's doing great no you ain't but you know what this is coping mechanism that's all i'm seeing right now she knows she failed she's just trying to live with it i'm gonna be so honest with you guys there is not a single man in this life that deserves your body except your husband i know a lot of girls won't want to hear that and that's fine because i'm not talking to you i'm talking to the girls who actually want to hear it obviously there is no judgment towards those who don't want to choose that lifestyle you do you but this is for the girls who want their best for themselves Whatever you do, please do not buy into the lie of this whole sexual liberation agenda. It's nonsense. The girls that promote that kind of message must hate women or they just don't understand why that's a very dangerous message to put out there, especially to young girls. I'm really not too sure who sold that sick lie that being sexually liberated is empowering because that couldn't be further from the truth. Just in general, the whole idea of hookup culture is such a lie and so damaging. I know a lot of people already understand that, but a lot of people don't, so they also need to hear this message. So I'll be explaining these things in a lot more depth in my videos. Um, I know it's not in line with the mainstream narrative, but that is not my business and I wish I cared. The girls need to be set free and the guys too. I'm gonna end this off by saying, learn to truly love yourself. And when I say truly, I mean truly. Not the whole fake self-love that everyone thinks that they have. Truly learn to love and value yourself so that you don't fall victim to these lies. And remember, it's only your husband that deserves access to your body. <laughs>
and this is why men do not want to date females in their 30s because you're all tapped that's why you've hit the wall real hard let's be honest neither one of us has a lot of time to waste neither one of us has a lot of time to waste time to waste my nap time actually starts at 2 p.m. So I'm just going to jump right in and ask you some questions. I'm physically attracted to you. Are you physically attracted to me? Okay. okay. Are you single? Okay. Are you in a situationship? Is there anyone who believes you are not single? Okay. Let's see. Do you want a serious, long-term, monogamous relationship? Do you want marriage? What is your spiritual life like? Actually, who, Actually, who, who is Jesus to you? Are you a parent? If so, do you have more than one baby mom or more than one child? Okay. Have you healed from your past relationships and or childhood trauma? If not, are you searching for help? Do you have a therapist that you see often? Do you believe in entertaining multiple women as a source of attention or to stroke your own ego? Do you have a legal form of income? Do you have your own transportation? Do you have your own residence? Okay, okay. Thanks for telling me. Do you have a passport, TSA pre-check, or clear? Got it. Do you enjoy beach vacations? Got it, got it, got it. Thanks. Thanks for confirming. Based upon your scores, I do believe we are compatible. How soon can you plan a date? I might just stay single. I don't know if I'm going to get married. I'm, I'm, I'm happy being alone. I think I'm done. I can't. See me, I, 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 I. Let's be honest. You already wasted your time. Now you're trying to pin it on guys that no one has time to waste after you wasted yours. You see, females like this who will have a whole list of things that they are now expecting is because when she was 19, none of this mattered to her. Jesus never mattered, marriage never mattered, a monogamous relationship never mattered to you. So every guy that you slept with in your prime years, none of this mattered to you. So you had to learn the hard way. And now you find yourself here where no man wants you. You want to write things down because these are the things you realize, oh my God, this should have been important to me. Now you want to print it down and say, look, this is what matters. But it never mattered to you, not even once in your life. Because if it did, this would be the conversation we'll be having right now. This would be your reality. So why is your reality like this? Why is it at 30 years old, all the things that should have been important to you are now important to you? And you're rushing for someone to eat it. You're forcing it down a man's throat. Because you know that clock is ticking. And you know that wall is right there behind you. In front of you even. So my point is, females like this that have a whole list of things that they now care about, they never cared about. They never made it important for them to focus on. They didn't focus on Chad and Tyrone and how big their D was. 
that's all she focused on and now she wants to sit there with those eyelashes talking about marriage and no time wasting when you are the biggest time waster sitting right there modern females who hit their 30s i'm gonna reference back to the first videos this is why because they come with a lot of emotional baggage that men shouldn't have to deal with they don't need to deal with it's really none of their business what it is is what you can bring to the table same as him and that's not your past and if you have a past they don't need it and they don't want it thank you for watching don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.